Good morning, this is Lord Holland4293, and today we have a replay sent in by Forgotten Void. He is in a mines on defensive naval station. His teammates are, Terp are Key, Turpets, Nether Mines, New Orleans, Lightning, and a Shit and it. Now, he sent this to me over the forms. I thought it would just be, you know, a, a carry, but apparently this was a... Oh, that's never good right there. Asking how the op... How to do this op. That is Mr. Mine. Oh, boy. So that tells me right here and there that Void is going to have a fun time because his only damaged competitor is basically... Uh, has basically just knowing how to really play this off. Or if he does, he's been getting failed teams lately, as he uh, has said in the chat. But we'll see what happens. Now, he's, he is being super aggressive right off the bat. He's in a good position. AP loaded, mines. Now, he doesn't have Guter Lunchens on there. So, he's not going to get the reload buff or anything, which is actually surprising. I, I would have thought Void would have had Guter Lunchens, but... I'm sure he'll make it work. Now this does end up being a very good game for him. A very good game. Now you would think, oh why is he shooting AP? Well, the Mines has really good AP penetration and it's just really good in general. And at this range, he can still sit down practically everything. The trick is getting the shells to hit in that area. But he's still just taking chunks off the health. Like right there, yep. Triple Citadel and finishes it off. And Yohagi and uh, Fur, and I believe that's the, yeah, Fur talking the Ayoba and the Kuma. Yeah, they're not going to be any challenge for him. He already killed the Ayoba and has better armor than all of them, so the rest of them are just going to fall real easy to him. Like, five Citadels, Yohagi's gone. Kuma's down. So it's just the Fur Taka level. Once you get the range on these guys at this range, it's pretty easy to kill them. Sure, Nomi got a torp. Good for him. Boy picks up three kills, 70,000 damage. He is being very aggressive. Now, he doesn't have survivability expert, so he has to be very careful. But if he plays this right, I think I know what he's going to do. There is no reason he I he could get at least two to three kills on this wave. I don't know if he could survive, but I imagine he'll survive. But if you do this right, you get about three kills. It's probably 120,000 plus damage on this wave. Now his team is already telling him to get back Mr. New Orleans. But you see how it seems just kind of all clustered back up there? They're not really trying to push out. Now I do love that Void does have a lightning that is uh, out here helping him. And that lightning will come in handy with the torque and killing the DD that was on Void's left. So he's got he's got gun support. And he has the high drone, so he doesn't have to worry about torques yet. Yep, he just lost the torque too. Oh, that's not no good. He just lost this. He, he's lucky he launched that torque. Now let's see if these torps actually hit, is the question. If they hit, he's gonna go up, he's gonna have at least a couple hundred thousand damage. We've sunk an enemy but we'll see. He would, okay, yeah, Kuma's, Congo's gonna take at least a few torps. Maybe, yep, only, probably took all four, it looks like. Yeah, he did put at least another set on the Bayern. Or by art, so he did pretty good. Yep, so it was about a hundred thousand damage. Enemy battleship yep. Oh, yeah, he hit that by Byron really good. Yeah, like if you do what Void is here doing, you could cr you could just crush. Now, he already knows where the, th where the third wave is gonna be. He knows it's already gonna be on the left. Next, no, yeah, it'll, it, third wave should be on the left. I believe. I could be wrong, but Void has done his uh, spawn 
you know, thing for this map. So he knows the spawns. Yep. Oh, he does have boots and boots on it. He just doesn't use the pendant flag, okay? So I retract that some. He does have future legions, but he doesn't have the flag, usually the pendant flag. So that's unfortunate. Now he is at half health, but he's still in a really good position. I mean, he can just swing back around, use AP, and citadel all those cruisers with AP. Easy peasy. But you kind of look how his team's just not really left that circle. They haven't left the circle, which if you got like one ship that knows what he's doing out here, you can just wreck this whole map. And he sent this to me saying that, you know, his he was not letting his team get damaged. Well, I don't see this as letting your team not get damaged. I think his team is choosing not to get damaged is where I'm sitting at because the team hasn't really moved I haven't seen hardly any I've seen a few shows come in across the map but his team isn't being really aggressive enough to really get the damage nice job for the lightning to pick up the shariatsu so good for him that's one DD down if Void can take out two of these cruisers then that lightning can just gun down the rest of the DDs hopefully get the citadel there nice nice now he's got the range on it finally, so he, it's going to go down real fast. Once you get the first Citadel shot, the rest of it just goes downhill. But then you have the range. Yep, natural selection, 263,000. Uh, that York is just going to die to this AP. I am slightly worried about the Mayoku crossing, but I mean, there's two battleships pushing in. I hope they are shooting. Yeah. But it looks like Turpid shot or mine. One of them did. I did see blue red tracers coming. Yeah, those are definitely mine shells coming across the map. Okay, so the battleships are shooting the Mayoko. So that's what if once I kill that, uh, it's pretty much game over for uh, the objective. They can pretty much win it at this point. He's sitting in the right area. I don't know who's gonna get the kill though. If those shells hit, he should be able to get it. Torpedoes, direct nope. Front. Torpedoes to port. Other mines picks up that kill. So it's literally just these two DDs, and one has a broken engine. So, yeah, they've clean. This is one of the cleanest, uh, well, solo Newport runs that I've seen as far as just cleaning these spawn waves. It's one of the cleanest I've seen. And that's including me. So, very, very, very impressive. Uh, you're aiming too far, boy. You gotta aim a little bit shorter. His engine's busted. Who's gonna get the kill? Nope, yep. That should have been Void's kill, but he just he didn't take into account the engine slowing down. When you see the funnel and smoke coming out, you aim right at that ship. You aim like a little bit right under its front turret, because it's still accelerating. It's still kind of going forward, but you want to be literally right smack. You want to put your cursor right on that ship, and you'll hit it. Oh boy, he's he's really getting gutsy now. He's gonna go do a spawn. He's doing a spawn. He's doing a Gnaiz now and a Buki uh, uh, spawn cam. That's real gutsy. Really gutsy. I have not seen that at all. I've never seen that. I've seen it done on the Musashi by me, and but I've I've tried doing it on the on this side, but I've never been in the right ship. So I'm curious. But I'm I'm curious to see if he pulls it off. I'm not worried about the Des Moines since the keys are literally right there. And the mine just shooting AP into the side. So I'm not worried. 
He's definitely played. He's definitely practiced it. This is. If he pulls this off, I'm gonna. I'm very impressed. I'm already impressed that he cleaned up. Well, the first way, basically by himself, took out like two thirds of the second wave, and then a, like a third of the last wave. So he's taken about half the enemies already. Uh, yeah, he's definitely right there. He knows where to. He knows where to put his ship. The ship is on fire. There, oh, six citadels, and can I go just accelerate right into those? But he's dead. Oh, we destroyed it. Ow! Wow! Wow! And wow! <laughs> and they're like, yeah, how much damage you got? I wouldn't call this really stealing damage from your team. This is textbook. Um, just playing. And, it, and just ha knowing the map. This wasn't stealing damage. One, his team was not aggressive enough to really take any damage from him. And he just knew the map. He's way out of position. He's not going to be able to do much the rest of the map. Uh, the Turpids could really have been really aggressive. Up. But let's see how the... Yeah, that's why I didn't also know if he had illusions. He's not running the show tracers, so... Yeah. Now the other one is, because I can tell. Good dodge, good dodge, Mr. Mines, from the Torps. His health looks like. Okay, he's at 30,000 health. He could rush that Musashi and get some good damage on it. The question is, is he going to live? So let's see how he does. And the Musashi is looking at it. Oh boy. Okay, AP into the side. Good, good. Six K range, so he's gonna have to close well within. Oh, there's the shots. And I can't. Oh, there's the torps going in. Get a no man. Dropped his torps. Missed all of them. It looks like. Okay, yeah, those are gonna kill. He's got it. He's got it. Oh yeah, he took some damage from it. And Void's advertising his ops channel. And the other mine is saying, oh, interesting. You using red? Blues. Uh, I don't even know what's going on in chat, so unfortunately. Now there really isn't really op. You know, while we're on the topic of YouTube, there isn't many op channels that are out there that dedicate themselves to ops. Ops are, you know, they're so repetitive, but. You wouldn't think they would be nuts. Well, there are very competitive op players out there that that can that can that really want to have really you know clean cut five star ops. I'm fairly competitive, but I can deal with three or four stars. I mean, Void is one that has uh, his channel, Forgotten Void. So you can literally type in his name, you'll get it right there. And then there's Lore, and then there's myself, Lord Holland, which is WoW's Operation Replay. Battleship destroyed. So there's literally only two dedicated op channels. Now this is a solid five stars, 433,000, and he ended up with about 25, 2300 basic speed. Solid match.